Hello YouTube, it is Nixie383 here. In this video I'll be showing you guys my setup for my HDP VR, mainly in Sony Vegas, but I'm also going to show you just my settings on games and in the HDP VR program itself, and just give you a little walkthrough on my tips and tricks to how I like to set up my PVR when I'm recording and making videos and rendering those to YouTube, just to show you all my settings and give you suggestions on how to help you out. I get people asking me this once in a while and I'm just going to make a video about it and tell you guys tips on what I suggest that you guys do when you're uploading a PVR video to YouTube. So one of the first things I'm going to do when I'm in a game and I know I'm recording or I'm about to record or what I usually use all the time because it looks good enough for me is I'm going to go into brightness. This usually is on any game, Call of Duty, Battlefield, Medal of Honor, you name it, it probably has it, especially on consoles. It should have a brightness option. And usually that's at about halfway, but at the beginning of most games, when you first put it in, it'll ask you to adjust your brightness. And I don't know if you guys turn it up or turn it down, but I highly suggest you turn it down. Whenever I adjust my brightness I turn it down somewhere between halfway of the like the end where it's zero and the middle of the entire bar where it's towards the middle and that kinda gives you a good more clear more colorful better looking uh, video image and this is just some random black ops 2 gameplay and I think this is going to not look the greatest if you do not use what I do when I set up my clips in Sony Vegas. Let's go, let's go. And I have a whole way of setting up these clips in Sony Vegas. So before I go into Sony Vegas, I'm going to show you exactly my setup for my HDPVR. So when you got your HDP VR, you probably got a disc, and on that disc you probably got a couple of programs, and one of those programs were probably called Total Media Extreme 2, and hopefully that's what you've been using to use your HDP VR and record and show gameplay, display it, and that's what I'm going to be using today. I believe it's the only way to actually use your HDP VR and record gameplay with it. I believe it's the only program that actually works with it. And one of the things you're going to notice with my PS3 gameplay is you're going to notice some fuzziness to it, a little bit of lines, and that is something I currently cannot fix. Before on a couple other of my videos you might have noticed that there were lines going through it, it was really obvious and I realized that and I didn't know exactly how to fix that. And Luckily, I found a way to fix it by going to my display settings on my PlayStation 3 and lowering the video quality from 1080i to 720p. And I believe this HDP VR only records in up to set into 1080i. And my TV also only goes up to 1080i, so it kind of works out great. But 1080i, I believe, is not a very good quality to use, so... I decided to lower it to see if it would fix anything and luckily it doesn't look as bad. It's still a little fuzzy, but it's something I can't really fix at the moment. I believe it's the cord that comes out of the back of the PlayStation for the video output and hopefully it's not the PlayStation itself. So I apologize for the quality of the HD PVR, so you're going to have to ignore that. It doesn't really look that bad when you edit it and when you upload it to YouTube but it's kind of noticeable when I'm playing and when you're looking at it from my HD PVR. So, to go through everything with the HD PVR setup, my source and your source should be Hapaj HD PVR capture device. And if you don't see it there, make sure everything's plugged in correctly. You got a USB plugged in that's coming from your HD PVR and if you've done all that and you're sure, turn the HD PVR on and off and if once you've done that make sure you hit the refresh button and if you turn it off and on and it still doesn't show up make sure you hit the refresh button or if something just doesn't seem right you don't see that in the drop down menu just keep trying the refresh button or completely close the computer or just close the program and see if that fixes it 
that's coming up some of my tips from experience with my PVR that might fix your problem. For video input, I have YPBPR selected, and it's one of the three choices you get. YPBPR is the input and output colored cores you'll see coming in and out of the back of your HD PVR, and that's probably what you're going to want selected. It's the HD cords, it's the best option. The S video is that round little input you'll see in the front of the HD PVR and barely anybody uses that anymore. I don't see how and why you would use that, but just in case you need it, there's the option right there. And for composite mode, it's that yellow cord that comes with the white and red audio cords, and that's what that is. It's also on the front with the S video. So I have YPBPR selected. That's probably what you have. RCA back is what I have for the audio input. I believe that is the back of the HD PVR that has the audio. The front audio is probably the probably I'm guessing the composite on the front and I'm not sure what the SPIF PDIF means but I'm not sure what the these other two mean. I just use RCA back that's probably what you have selected. For PC audio mode I use two channel stereo. I'm not sure what PC audio mode actually means or what either of these modes have different but I use two channel stereo, I believe that means that you'll get the audio from both the left and right speakers. For video formats, I always use M2TS. That is probably the best way to go. With MP4, when you try to put it into Sony Vegas or a program like that, you might get some errors. I've gotten plenty of errors before trying to use MP4 formatted HD PVR clips and it just doesn't work. Sometimes it might, sometimes it might not. But it doesn't work out for me so I always use M2TS I don't see a problem with it and I like it. it I don't have a problem with it it looks great TS I'm not familiar with I don't know much about it but I just think M2TS is the best choice for these two checkboxes down here I have them both checked you probably will have them checked too saved format M2TS is what I have selected I believe that that is the same as these three options up here because they'll have the same drop down menu Save to, I have created a folder inside of my computer's video folder just for the HD PVR clips and I named it HD PVR. If you want to change or create a folder for your HD PVR clips to be saved in, create that folder and then click the little browse icon at the very bottom right here in the corner of your capture module and that will choose the folder you want all your recorded clips to go to. So to get into the device settings, I don't usually play around with these. I don't suggest it. If you want to change any of these, I suggest doing it in a program like Sony Vegas where you can actually do more accurate changes to it. If you want to change the brightness, I don't think that's a bad idea too much, but I think it would be much better if you did it in game. If you're playing any game, you're recording it, it has the brightness option. I highly suggest you just change it in the game. It's going to help you out best and give you the best quality. For a video decoder, decoder I have the NTSC underscore M option chosen from the drop down menu. And for signal detected and lines detected, I believe those are just some information about what your HD PVR has going into it right now. I do have VCR input checked and output enable checked. Output enabled is what you see on your TV. If you uncheck this and hit apply, it will turn off the output you'll see on your TV. So I don't see why you would not want this checked. It should be checked. If you're ever having if you're ever having a problem, make sure that's checked. So I'm going to cancel it because I don't want to change anything about my settings, and it shouldn't be different anyways. For the properties for the video format, I have it at 13.5, which is also at 12.0 Mbps, and the drop-down menu I have constant bitrate selected. I do not have boost analog audio input level checked and disable bling LEDs I do not have that checked either that is the lights you'll see displayed at the top of your HD PVR for low pass filters I have Lumina at 3 and Chroma at 3 for two channel audio sources I have use AC3 audio encoder checked and that's about it I'm gonna hit cancel and I'm done with my HD PVR so I'm just gonna close it and now to get into Sony Vegas, 
I'm using Sony Vegas Pro 11. I bought the full version. This is the full version that you're going to see right here. And I'm just going to close it so we can start off new. And I'm going to hit the import media icon right here at the top. And I'm going to go through my HD PVR folder, which is in the main video folder out of the main libraries and choose the HD PVR folder. And now I'm going to have all of my recorded HD PVR clips here. And I've already set up a gameplay from Black Ops 2 just for this tutorial. And I'm going to go ahead and just drag that in. And one of the first things I'm going to do is just trim the edges to where exactly the gameplay is and where I want the video to start. And where I think is a good spot to actually show some gameplay that I want the video to start at. This video clip right here. And I'm just going to drag it over so I have it at the beginning. And I'm just going to trim this end here and I'm gonna stop it right there. The first thing I like to do when I put a HD PVR clip in the Sony Vegas is get rid of these black lines that make your videos look unprofessional. That will be at the top, the right, or the left side, and sometimes even the bottom. And to do that, I use the pan slash crop option at the end of every video clip you'll see it at the on top of the end. And to fix this problem, Simply put your mouse on one of the corners and just drag it towards the center about once or twice, just the slightest bit, and that will get rid of anything that's around the edges of the video. And this will happen in any game. It could ha happen in Battlefield, Call of Duty. Most games will have the problem, so I always do this just to make the video look a little more professional. And to save you some time, what I do is I'll type in something like HDPVR right here, and I'll hit the save icon to save this as a preset so I just have to hit the drop down menu and select HD PVR next time I come in to Sony Vegas to add another video clip in and depending on the game you might need more so I have another option here called HD PVR Battlefield for Battlefield clips when they have too much black space around the edge I need just a little bit more I'll have that selected so I'm going to leave it at HD PVR and now the next thing I like to do with every single clip that I put in, no matter the number of clips I always do this, is I do that crop and now I'm going to right click, I'm going to go to switches and then reduce interlace flicker. I'm going to check that and now I'm going to do the same thing. I'm going to right click, switches and then I'm going to go down to disable resample and you're going to notice right now that all the blur you're going to see in the paused video frame of the HTTP VR clip is going to disappear, it's going to make it look much better and this is going to help you out with your video quality and you're going to notice it whenever you pause the video clips in Sony Vegas or even on YouTube you'll notice the quality is not the greatest and this will help with everything not just HD PVR clips but this is the number one thing I think it helps with so that's going to make your clips look much better and much more clean and more sharp so um, that is what I do for any type of HD PVR clip I put in. I'm going to skip all the effects because those aren't necessary for this video. Um, those could be all sorts of things and you can play around with that yourself. So for the project property settings I'm going to go up to this little icon here and for the preset I have here I chose HDV 720-30p and I like this because it's the 720p project setting and it does 29.97 frames per second and uh, that's a good preset to choose and if you want to copy any of these settings down I suggest just pausing the video and trying to copy them in and that should help you out. When you're done always make sure you hit this check mark down here start all new project with these settings so hit once you check that hit apply OK and you might want to check out my audio settings while you're at it and just do the same thing with the check mark and apply and hit OK and uh, I also have a voiceovers folder for when I do gameplay commentaries I have a folder inside of my Sony Vegas folder which is called voiceovers and then when you want to record a voice voiceover with your microphone you can just have it pop up to the folder you have selected here and you can just select it by hitting browse and then choose that folder and hit apply OK and it should be all set up for the next commentary you do. And 
that is my settings for 720p at 30 frames per second but actually if you want to change it to 1080 you could either change the number you see here or you could simply just go down to HD 1080-60i and that's going to be your 1920 by 1080 30 frames per second template that will give you your, you your uh, 1080p resolution when you're rendering but I'm not going to use that right now I like keeping it at 720 it's simpler and it's not necessary to have 1080p and that just adds a little more time to your, your rendering so I'm just going to leave it like that and now I'm going to show you my render settings I have two templates already set up as favorites I have the HD 720p 30 frames per second template and the same exact template except it's changed so that it's rendering in 1080p and those are both templates designed just for YouTube so I'm going to show you the 720p version so you might want to copy this down but I'm also just going to read it off really quickly I'm going to show you that all of these settings are probably what I suggest after going through all my experience with Sony Vegas so the first thing you're going to see is check marked include video and this could be custom frame size if you really want to but you probably want it selected at either HD 720p or HD 1080p and that's going to be key to changing your levels of HD right there and this is changing the actual dimensions of your video when it's rendered out so I do not have a check mark on allow source to adjust frame size profile is main frame rate 29.970 no check mark on allow source to adjust frame rate field order none progressive scan pixel aspect ratio 1.0 number of reference frames 2 check mark on use the blocking filter no check mark on constant bit rate check mark on on the variable bit rate no check mark on two pass maximum bps 13,500,000 average BPS the same at 13,500,000 encode mode is at automatic recommended and there's a check mark on enable progressive download so those are my video settings for rendering and then for audio I have a check mark on include audio sample rate 48,000 bit rate 192,000 for a system, there's really nothing you can change here. For project, I use video rendering rendering quality at best, and this is probably what you probably really want to get is best. That's going to give you your best quality you can render at. That's what you really want to have selected. And stereopic, stereoscopic 3D mode is use project settings. You can change this if you want if you're doing anything in 3D, but I use project settings for that option. I'm just going to cancel that because I don't want to mess up with my settings. Customize template. Basically, it's the same thing except I only changed this drop down menu to HD 1080p. So, it's the same exact as this 10 as the 720p version except I just basically made a duplicate so I could just simply do it as fast as I can to um render out and make it easy for me. And um yeah, that's about it for my setup of my HD PVR, my settings for my project settings, and my render settings. And yeah, that's about it. So if you haven't done so already, please comment, rate, subscribe, and thanks for watching.